Hello, 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 everyone. This is I Review the Gods. We review any and everything. Today we are reviewing Wegman's Organic Black Bean Panini. But I mean, it's just I don't even know if I'm even put Wegman's up there because I don't really care about that. It's more of the the black bean, you know, pasta. That's more what I'm reviewing more than the brand because they're pretty much going to be all the same. There isn't anything going to be too, too much difference from place to place to brand to brand. They're going to be gluten free, only one ingredient. You know, you, it's just black bean flour. That's it. It's just, that's all. It's just straight black bean flour. Now, the thing about all of this is and about pasta, you must understand this is why you should. It's going to be hard. It, it is. It's going to be hard to change your pasta. Because the texture is different. You're used to that soft, bouncy pasta. You're not going to get that without the gluten. Don't eat gluten. Gluten is bad for you. Stay away from it. Get it out of your system. Do not eat gluten. Stay away from it. It's poison. It's poison. Don't eat gluten. Don't eat wheat. Stay away from wheat. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. I know it's hard. Learn. Learn, please learn. Don't eat wheat. Don't eat gluten. So, the issue with pasta and transferring over is that when you deal with the texture of it, it can be a little different because a lot of these are proteins that are going to be more dense than your wheat pasta. It's going to be way more dense, especially the lentil ones and all the rest of them. They, they're going to be dense. And these are no exception because all right, we're gonna we're gonna I'm gonna show you why. But these are these are amazing. So this is the calories here, 170 calories aren't really a big thing. People talk about blah 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 yada yada yada. You know these calories you can eat a bunch of calories and you can walk about and get your calories off really, really easy. Movement gets calories. You burn calories. You don't burn the rest of the stuff. So, it, it, calories aren't hard to burn. Don't even worry about that. So, it has no cholesterol. It has zero sodium. Now you're looking at this part here. This is where most people I know that are vegans or become vegetarians they eat too much pasta, and they eat the wrong type of pasta. Pasta breaks down in your body as sugar. It feeds your fat. It You should not be eating that much pasta. You shouldn't be eating regular wheat pasta at all, but that's all we have. All that flour wheat pasta is, is you you everything you eat got wheat in it. That's breaded and this and that. It, that don't don't eat wheat. I'm I'm telling you. It will change your life. And it will make you healthier if you because I mean that means you have to stay away from pretty much all bread. You'll be fine. You can do it. Don't don't put it in your body. It's wreaking havoc on all of on every part of your body. Don't eat wheat. So total carbohydrates, twenty seven grams, and out of the twenty seven grams, ten grams are fiber and it has twelve grams of protein. So these Black bean, black bean pasta, and you also got to be careful too. I, I wish I had that box. I would have showed it to you. They have something that says black bean pasta, and it's just black soybeans. It's not like black beans. So, yeah, you have to pay attention to that. They'll, like I say, the way they're allowed to wear things in our country is pretty, pretty horrible. But yeah, it does have some calcium in it. It has some iron. It has some potassium. That fiber right there, 10 grams of fiber, is amazing. So, like I say, the total carbs, you take that down, it's, 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 it's amazing. If you can learn to eat different types of pasta, I mean, it doesn't matter if it's a panini, butterfly, bowl, noodles, or whatever, they're still pasta, it's still it's in a different shape. <laughs> so, it's it's still pasta, so... It's just the fact that when you're eating some of this other pasta because it's protein based, I mean protein is dense. 
it's going to be a little tougher. It's going to be harder. But the initial one, two times you do it, it'll it, it, it be normal. This is normal. I eat, I eat pasta, protein type of pasta all the time. You should do it. These taste good. Black bean, panini, this one. If you got a Wegmans, like I say, find something where it's just one ingredient. And that's all it is. just one ingredient. And you're just using the flour from the black beans. These are, the taste is amazing. Get yourself if you like black beans. And then, you know, put the black, it, it, if you're a Latin, have Latin food, Latin friends, Latin, yada, 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 Hispanic, whatever you want to call it. When it, you, if you ever had some black bean salsa or something with some black beans and you put the salsa on it, it's, it's pretty much the same. Remember, pasta is nothing but tomatoes, garlic, and whatever else, and onions on top of it. And, it's the same premise. It tastes really, really good together. It's a great combination. I highly recommend it. Later.